It is extraordinary to see a collection of this quality, focus, and condition. Each and every picture has a story to tell, and it's full of emotion and pathos and intensity. If I had to describe the Fish and Davison collection in one word, it would be powerful. It would be intense, it would be dramatic, and in my mind, extraordinary. We're very excited to be selling from the Fish Davison collection, 10 Baroque masterpieces. Most of the paintings date from 1600 to 1660 by many of the greatest artists of the 17th century, particularly in Italy. Around 1600 to 1610, Caravaggio hit the ground running, coming from the north of Italy to Rome and then to Naples and then to Malta. And he created a new style of painting called the Baroque. It's not that no one else was doing it, but he was really landmark, and he really changed the way pictures look. Once Caravaggio dies in 1610, there are a group of great artists who were influenced by his style, and what you see in these works is the light and the dark, the chiaroscuro, the fabrics, which are so beautiful. All these artists were just inspired by Caravaggio and at the same time creating their own style. The Valentin is the first picture that Valentin painted when he arrives in Rome. He's obviously been influenced by Caravaggio, but Valentin has his own look, his own style, his own vision. And even if he's inspired by the work of Caravaggio, he is his own man. And the same is true of all these artists same with Gentileschi, same with Cavallino, same with Propaccini. They're all right there at that same moment. As you can see, the subject matter of a picture never frightened them. It seemed to me that the more dramatic it was, the more interested they were. The centerpiece of this collection is the beautiful panel by Rubens, painted just after he returns from Italy. The panel is just so alive and full of emotion. It's St. John the Baptist's head on a plate. The Baptist had criticized Salome's mother for marrying her cousin. One of the maidservants is literally pulling the Baptist's tongue out of his mouth. It feels to me like an exceptionally important painting of the highest quality. It's remarkable. The painting by Bernardo Cavallino is, in some ways, one of the most extraordinary things in the whole collection. I've never seen one this large. He, he didn't work on this scale. St. Bartholomew, who's about to skin himself alive, and you see him holding a knife, so it gives you an idea of what's gonna happen without showing you the brutality of what does happen. But it's so intense, and the quality is so high. The Gentileschi is a very important picture. The subject here relates to a picture which Correggio painted in the 16th century, and Gentileschi takes it as a model. The idea of Mary Magdalene in a cave is an emotive moment where she's thinking about Jesus, she's thinking about her life, about time passing. It's an incredibly large scale, and it's obviously painted at a moment which is very important in Gentileschi's life. People ask me all the time, why are you still at Sotheby's? You've been there so long. And I have. This has been 49 years, and this year it's gonna be 50 in October. And one of the reasons I have been is because I get tremendous pleasure in being surrounded by great art, but I also get tremendous pleasure in helping collectors build great collections. And in the case of the Fish Davison collection, I was very much a part of many of these purchases. And it gives me great pleasure to have them here and to see them once again at Sotheby's.